Hi, welcome to Max from uh, GalaxyNote2Root.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to unlock your bootloader uh, and install custom recovery using uh, Adam Utler's tool here. You can use Windows 7. Actually, it only works on Windows 7. Uh, if you don't have a Windows 7, go ahead and uh, borrow your co friend's computer. Or you can also um, use Linux such as Ubuntu. Um, I've had some trouble using Ubuntu. Uh, I think Windows 7 is easiest. So let me show you using Windows here. Uh, make sure you're on uh, your under about phone. Make sure your build number says VRAMC3. If it doesn't say it, um, don't use this method, okay? It should say VRAMC3, which is the latest official uh, firmware as of this video. If you don't have that, um, you might be on future versions and there might be a new new version. It might still work. Um, just check my site uh, in the description and see if it works. But as of this video, uh, it's for that. So to do this, it's very simple. Um, go ahead and go to settings. Go to uh, developer options. And make sure developer options is on. Hit OK. Make sure USB debugging is checked on. And connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And let's go to your computer. Next, go ahead and download the latest uh, Know You Verizon from XD. I'll have links to this thread by Adam Utler. Um, go ahead and download the latest version here. And latest version, it says, is this one here. So go ahead and download it. All right. And this should take a couple minutes here. I've actually downloaded already. Now, um, before you run this program, you also need Java. So go to java.com and make sure you have uh, make sure you have it installed. So I'm going to go to java.com and go to free Java dot, uh, download here. And if you don't have it installed, go ahead and download it and install it. Now, once you have the the dot jar downloaded, know you Verizon. Um, you should have something like this right here and if you see this little cup sign Java sign that means you do have Java installed so you don't have to uh, reinstall Java and you simply have to run that now before we do anything go and check that you have drivers installed so go to control panel hardware and sound go to device manager and under device manager, uh, you should have something like Samsung Android ADB interface. Um, if you get like an exclamation mark there, go ahead and download and install the Samsung USB drivers. I've installed drivers before, but for some reason it's not working. Um, so go ahead and download the Samsung USB drivers and I'm just gonna run it again. And this will install the USB drivers again. And, um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it again. I don't know what's wrong with my computer today, but um, it is not one to install. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it again. And uh, this should fix the driver issue. Um, and uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes drivers can become a headache and you can use another computer with a Windows 7 also. But I'll be back when this is done installing. All right, hopefully it worked this time. Uh, I'm not sure. Sometimes drivers on the uh, Samsung can be a headache. And now I'm getting some kind of Samsung Android. I'm still getting Samsung Android with an exclamation mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my, my phone and plug it back in. All right, it's still not working for some reason. And I'm gonna go ahead and reboot. Oh, actually it worked now. There we go. Sometimes the second time is a charm. There we go. So you should have Samsung ADB interface. If you don't have that, um, tr keep trying until you get that. Next, go ahead and double click on Know You Verizon. And this will bring up the, the uh, casual program. Uh, if it says device connector ready, go ahead and hit do it and hit continue. And we'll let it automatically uh, unlock the bootloader and install a custom recovery for our Verizon Galaxy Note 2. Now, this, this might, you know, sometimes fail, so you just have to rerun it. Um, if it fails, there's nothing that's gonna mess up your phone. Um, so hopefully we can do it on our first try, but the last time it took me about two, three tries. Um, so now it's rebooting, and it's gonna try to push uh, some files, 
and I'll let it keep running. There we go, you see that exploit injection done. It says waiting for download mode device and it's running Heimdall and it's uploading recovery. Uh, if you get to this point, you should be all good to go, I think. Um, just give it a second here. And crossing my fingers, it does work the first time. Usually it will work if you got everything ready to go. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't and you can just simply run the program a couple times more until it fully works. So give it a second here. It's going to try to connect to the computer again. And now it says you should be unlocked. So we should be fully unlocked. Uh, let me get rid of my computer here and we'll go check it out. And let me change the camera angle real quick. Next, your sh phone should have rebooted into Twerp Recovery here. Um, go ahead and try rebooting system. All right. And go ahead and let it reboot. And if it's ask you to fix boot, say yes. Sometimes it will ask you. And let me go ahead and reboot and I'll be back. All right, next go ahead and go to apps. Now you should have Super SU app. Go ahead and open it up and uh, it should be working. And if it asks you to update the binaries, go ahead and do it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And you should have a fully rooted uh, Verizon Galaxy Note 2 with an unlocked bootloader so you can install custom ROMs. Uh, you can run uh, rooted apps, all that good stuff. And uh, if, you, if this has helped you unlock your bootloader, don't forget to donate to Adam Mutler. I'll have links to his PayPal uh, donate link on my site. Uh, thanking him for making this awesome tool and uh, as always if you have a galaxy note 2 don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxy note 2 root.com we update you once a week with rom louis tips hacks and more and also if you're on youtube please hit that like button from here subscribe button down there and i'll see you guys soon stay high on android oh. <laughs>